Chapter four, analyze, correct, improve. I'm gonna go over a couple things that I think some of you may have had trouble on with this assignment. Number one A, the worksheet's protected. The first thing you have to do, and this was in the sample problem, as were most of the things I'm gonna cover, is I just had to go file, click on protect, go back. Now I can manipulate the worksheet. The first um, one I wanna go over is one B. Correct a monthly payment formula in C7 and the total interest in C8. Now I can look at this and say, okay, I'm gonna buy a house for $247,000. The down payment's 45,000, so now I need a loan amount of $202,000. With the interest rate of 9.25, I wanna have my loan for 15 years. So I want, I can look at this and say something's off because there's no way I would have a monthly, um, monthly payment for my house of $31,000. Well, if you looked in the book on page 221, this is actually the um, formula that you need for this PMT formula. Now, I like that it started with a negative symbol because we want a positive number and we're borrowing. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the rate divided by 12 because we have 12 months in the year and then we're gonna take the 12 and multiply it by years, comma, and then we're gonna put in the loan amount to find that payment. And right away it comes back as $2,000.78, perfect. Now as you see, there's obviously something wrong here because the total interest shouldn't be negative. It's gonna be a positive number. So when I go to total interest, a couple of things, one, um, I need to first take 12 times the years because I have 12 months in a year and I'm going to have this for 15 years. So equals 12 times years and then times monthly payment and then we subtract that from the loan amount to get the interest. And I can see that I'm going to pay $172,000 roughly in interest over the 15 years. Going down, um, oh, it just wants you to take B1 through C9 and name that loan calculator. So right up here, just type in loan calculator. Now that's named loan calculator. Easy. That was C. Um, D says there's two errors. Where actually, I found three errors in this um, future value. We want to figure out the future value of an investment. First thing is, again, just like with the PMT, we need to put a negative symbol before the FB to ensure that we'll get a positive number because we don't have this money yet. And then what we need to do is we do, we have interest rate divided by 12. And then it says multiply by 12 months. That's not correct. We multiplied by before by 12 when it was by years, but since we're by months, we don't need to put anything there. So that was the first error, the second error, and the third error that I found, you have to have, monthly investment can't have a space there. So I'm gonna do my underscore. And we get the answer. For the PV over here, present value, guys, it's, it's pretty much the same problem. If you look at um, 1E, it tells you to make this positive. To make it positive, do the same thing we did here and here right before the PV. So think back to what we did here before the FV, do the same before the PV. Um, then it says assign the names in column E to the adjacent cells in column F. And what it just wants the same here. If you look down in present value, it says annual rate in the name box. It says term. It says monthly payment. They want the same thing. So I'm gonna click in F2 and in the name box, I'm gonna type cost. And in F3, I'm going to take right salvage. That's all you have to do. That's all they want you to do in that one. The last thing I want to cover is 2C. I think the rest of things you should be able to get. But 2C is a data table. First of all, in the data table, look over pages 227 to 230. Very helpful. Also, there's a video on data table inside of my MTI Chapter 4, which is very helpful also. I think what a lot of people were doing wrong with the data table is they were selecting the titles. We don't want to select the titles. We want to select just C17 through I19. And then I'm going to go to data, 
the what if analysis and choose data table. And it tells us that the depletion of very years of life in F4, which is eight. Now in the video and I think in the chapter, they had us put it in the column input. But this, because we're going across, we're gonna put it in the row. So I just click on F4 and notice it puts the absolute, so it'll do it for all of them. Puts the dollar signs, I click OK. And then of course you need to make this um, currencies. Let's change that to dollar signs. And then the row below it needs to be changed to percents. That's it. I hope this helped with the assignment due tonight. Um, if you've already turned it in, please look over it. And if you have something incorrect, you can email me what you want to grade, need to grade tomorrow morning for tomorrow morning, but I need it by tonight at 11.55.